Good morning. Chapter 7, Lesson 2 on page 311 and 312. We're going to be graphing some equations. Remember, we need to use some graph paper. And when we're making graphs, we need to make sure that all points are labeled clearly and distinctly. The axes are labeled, and we know exactly what we're graphing. We're going to use a ruler as well to make sure that our lines line up. Let's try number 13 first. Number 13 says, let's uh, find three solutions of this equation, 4x plus 3y is equal to 14. And from our discussion today, we remember that Mr. E's famous favorite numbers for x always turn out to be, oops, x has to be 0, he likes 1, and he likes 2. Those are nice numbers to play with, makes life a little bit easier for us. So step number one in this equation might be to rearrange it just a little bit so that when I set x equals 0, 1, or 2, we can solve for y. We have two, equation, we have two variables in this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it. 4x plus 3y is equal to 14. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Remember, we do it to both sides. Whatever we do to one side, we better do to the other side. We've got a goose egg right here. We have the big zero. So we have 3y looks like it's equal to 14 minus 4x. And the interesting thing is that I've chosen my numbers for x so I can figure out what solutions are going to work for y. And that's what we're trying to do. Come up with three solutions for this equation. So I'm going to make my little t-chart. x, 14 minus 4x, because that's what 3y is. And then I'm going to end up with what y has to be. So here we go. I'm going to make my table. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make x0. I'm going to make x1. I'm going to make x2. So I have x. So I have 14 minus 4 times 0. So this looks like this turns out to be just 14 minus 0, which would be 14. So this would be 3y right here. So I've got the 3y, the 14 minus 4x, and the x, so I have a 14 here. Let's try it for uh, x is 1. I have 14 minus 4. Let's try it here. I have 14 minus 4 times 2 is 8. So this looks like 10. This looks like 6. So what this tells me is that 3y is equal to 14, or y is equal to 14 over 3. This tells me that 3y is equal to 10 or y is equal to 10 over 3. Remember, I divided both sides on each of these by 3. I'm skipping that step. I hope we know how to do that by now. We have 3y is equal to 6. And y turns out to be, if we divide both sides by 3, y turns out to be 2. So we have some ordered pairs that we should write now so that we can have three solutions to this equation. The first ordered pair is going to be x is 0. And y is 14 over 3. The second one is going to be x is 1 and y is 10 over 3. And the last ordered pair is going to be x is 2 and y turns out to be 6. So the solutions to this equation, 4x plus 3y is equal to 14, comes up with three, three ordered pairs, 0, 14 over 3, 1, 10 over 3, 2, and 6. So those are three ordered pairs that would work for that equation. These aren't the only three you can come up with. I chose x is 0, x is 1, x is 2. Remember, you can choose any numbers that you would like. Let's move on to the next problem. Number 29, it says let's make a graph of y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 1, and it gave us some values for x. So we're going to choose, we don't have a choice in this matter, let's make our chart x we have the absolute value of x plus 1, and then we have y. So I'm going to try to make my chart a little bit neater this time. Okay. Not sure how successful I'm going to be here. Bear with me. Here's my t-chart. That looks a little bit better. And it already tells me that the values of x are minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. In this example, it's not giving me any choices of values to choose. It says, here's the table, here's the values for x. I want you to go find out what the y's are. So let's fix this problem first, um, because this 
as I wrote it was an error, so let's fix that. So it's really the absolute value of x, and then we're going to add 1 to it. So here we go. The absolute value of minus 4 is 4, so this looks like 4 plus 1. Here we have 3 plus 1. Here we have 2 plus 1. Here we have 1 plus 1. Here we have 0 plus 1. And 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, and 4 plus 1. How did I get those values? Well, let's take this example. Minus 4, the absolute value of a negative 4 is 4. 4 plus 1, so we've got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, oops, 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's go over to our graph and see if we can graph these ordered pairs. So with our graph, we're going to put minus 4, comma 5, x is first, minus 3, comma 4, minus 2, comma 3, minus 1, comma 2, 0, comma 1, and the interesting part of this graph now, it says 1, comma 2, 2, comma 3, 3, comma 4, 4, comma 5. These are the ordered pairs. Minus 4 and 5, minus 3 and 4, dot, 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 all the way down to 4, comma 5. Last thing we need to do is connect the dots. I'm going to use my uh, straight line ruler again. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go and extend my line. I'm going to go on this side, do the same thing, start here, extend my line. And that's what my graph's going to look like. Number 29, y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 1. The graph ends up looking like uh, a straight line coming down and then a straight line coming up. That's it for today, and we'll see you all tomorrow.